Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Strong here, and thank you so much for watching this video. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how you can do a simple assessment for your health to tell you whether you could develop diabetes, heart disease, or hypertension. There is this ratio between the hips and the waist that we can use to measure. And I'm gonna show you all of the details that come along with it and then the variables and the values to say how healthy are we and how at risk are we develop it for developing these chronic issues. And these are the three major issues that are plaguing America right now. So heart disease is the number one killer. Then we have diabetes and everybody has hypertension. So I want you to be able to prevent these issues and by doing so, I have a free ketogenic diet below. All you have to do is click on the link. Everything is completely free. It's a 28 day challenge. Try it out, see if you feel better, see if your energy goes up, see if you lose weight. People tend to lose anywhere between 10 and 15 pounds using this basic template. It has your grocery list, it has the meals for you every day, recipes, everything that you need, because it's my mission to help as many people as possible overcome their chronic health conditions and hopefully even prevent them. And what I would like for you to do, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and helps me reach more people so that we can get this message out to as many people as possible so that they can take control of their health and prevent these chronic diseases from developing. When it comes to these issues, prevention is key. So that's mainly what we're going to be talking about is how to prevent this after we go over everything. So let's dive in. There are studies that show that the waist to hip ratio may actually be a very good indicator of your overall health. There are studies over the last several years that actually show us that it can be a predictor for hypertension, heart disease, and even diabetes. And by using this and measuring ourselves, we can say, maybe I'm getting close to where I could be at risk for de developing these potential issues. And like I said, prevention is worth going through rather than developing the disease and then trying to reverse it, which is much harder to do. According to the World Health Organization, having a waist hip ratio of over one may increase your risk for developing these chronic conditions that we talked about before. This may be even the case if other measures of being overweight, such as body mass index, BMI, are in normal range. So if you have a normal BMI, but your waist to hip ratio is off, that still could be a predictor that maybe your health is still at risk. Now, this chart shows how the WHO, the World Health Organization, classifies the risk of being affected by weight-related health conditions. As we can see here, your health risk, whether it's low, moderate, or high, can be determined by this ratio. When we look at men, a 0.95 or lower is a low risk, and for women, 0.80 or lower is low risk. Now, when we look at moderate, 0.96 to 1.0, for women, 0.81 to 0.85, and then for men, for it being high, 1.0 or higher, and then for women, 0.86 or higher. So these values give us a very clear determination of when we could be at low, moderate, or high risk. I advise you, if you're starting to creep up into that high risk category, or if you're way over that high risk category, then start changing your diet, cutting out sugars, start cutting out sweets, start cutting out sugary drinks, and start taking action towards your health because you definitely wanna prevent these chronic diseases from developing because I see so many people suffering from them. How does this impact your health? Research shows that people who are apple-shaped are at greater risk of certain health conditions than those who are pear-shaped when the hips are wider than the upper body. These conditions include cardiovascular disease, there was one study that found that abdominal obesity increased the risk of cardiovascular disease and cancer. Another study found that the waist to hip ratio predicted cardiovascular disease more effectively than BMI or waist circumference. A third study found that the waist to hip ratio is a better indicator of risk of mortality from cardiovascular disease than waist circumference alone. You can use this to really be beneficial and to help you monitor your health very simply rather than just going to your doctor where they tell you everything is fine on your blood work, when maybe you feel fatigued, maybe you feel tired, and how do you fix it? Use the free keto challenge below. It's a great 
way to get started. And most of the time people do keto wrong and that's why they don't get results. This is a clean keto version. It's not a dirty keto, which most people start developing headaches. They start getting really bad symptomatology. They get the keto flu for a month. So this is designed to help prevent that. Type 2 diabetes, which a 2016 study found that an increased waist circumference was linked to an increase for risk of type 2 diabetes. If your family has diabetes and then you're eating a lot of carbs, you're eating a lot of uh, sugary foods, and you're really wanting to prevent diabetes or you think that you might be developing diabetes, you can use this check and see if you're increasing your risk. Fertility, this is an interesting one. In a 2002 study, they found that women with a waist to hip ratio of over 0 0.80 have a lower pregnancy rate than those with a lower waist to hip ratio. If you know somebody who's having trouble getting pregnant, there are multiple things that can go into it, but hormonal is definitely a big one. They can also check this as well, and if they need to reduce their waist to hip ratio, then that can be something that's done through dietary means. You can use supplementation, working with a nutritionist. There are a lot of ways that you can reduce this. There was also a 2006 study with almost 15,000 older people, 75 years of age or older, and it concluded that the waist to hip ratio is more important than how much you weigh. The researchers looked at the relationship between waist to hip ratio and BMI and how many people died over the next six years. It turned out that the waist to hip ratio is even more accurate than BMI for predicting the risk of cardiovascular disease and premature death. In other words, it was location, location, location of the fat that was most important, not how much you weigh. So very interesting. You could weigh as much as you wanted to, but if your waist to hip ratio was off, they showed that uh, the people who may actually weigh less, but they're... Uh, ratio was off, they actually died sooner than the people who were heavier. There are more studies that relate to waist to hip ratio, and these include a 2021 study, which is very recent, that found it's an accurate uh, test for predicting hypertension. A 2015 study showed that it is a better indicator than BMI for predicting complications in trauma patients. So this tells us that if you have a trauma, and your waist to hip ratio is higher, then you're probably more likely to die from that complication than if you didn't, if you have a lower waist to hip ratio. So that's saying that that person is in an overall healthy state where they can handle a trauma, whereas the other person cannot. In the 2018 study, it was shown that a high waist to hip ratio was a significant predictor of death in women with heart failure. When people are going into these cardiovascular type issues and they're starting to have to take certain medications in order to regulate their heart rhythms or to keep their heart going, then what we can say is that if their waist to hip ratio is high, they're probably going to die sooner. And then there was another 2016 study that found the waist to hip ratio was associated with hypertension and diabetes. If you are on the verge or if you are got to the point in your life where you're hopefully trying to be more proactive towards your health, take this measurement, see what the ratio is, and make sure that you are doing the things that you need to in order to prevent these chronic diseases from developing. I'm here to help you with that. Comment below if you have any questions about what you need to do and what actions you can take because this really is a crucial part to your health. When it comes to the health benefits of reducing the waist to hip ratio, there was a 2020 study that found decreasing the waist to hip ratio by 5% significantly lowered the risk of, of developing chronic kidney disease in people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. By reducing only 5%, you can significantly change your overall health. You may be wondering, how do you measure your waist to hip ratio? Let me show you. You need a tape measure and a calculator. Here's how you do it. Measure your waist at the smallest point, usually at the navel or just above it. Then measure your hips at the widest or largest point. Usually that's around like the top of the femur or kind of where your hip joint intersects right into your glute. What you want to do is divide your waist measurement, so the first number that you got, by your hip measurement, the second one. 
The waist measurement divided by the hip measurement is how you get your ratio. The idea here is that your waist should be smaller than your hips. If your waist is bigger than your hips, then you may have too much fat concentrated around the middle part of your body, something known as intra-abdominal obesity. The concept is quite simple here in that intra-abdominal fat is bad for your health. In this video, I hope that you've learned how taking this one measurement can actually give you some clear indication about what you need to do, be doing towards your health, how it can help you prevent from developing these chronic diseases that are so rampant in our country. Over 70% of the populations has some sort of heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, or blood sugar problem. By monitoring yourself with this, you can tell yourself, hey, I need to start being proactive so that I don't end up like maybe one of my parents or one of my peers that's having to be on dialysis, take insulin shots, or be on some sort of medication because their health is degrading so much. In conclusion, we can say that measuring the waist to hip ratio is a quick way of getting an indication of your overall health, obesity levels, and the risk of weight related health conditions. I really hope that you liked this video and hopefully it was helpful and it gives you something that you can use to measure and maintain your health and then hopefully prevent you from developing any of these chronic diseases. And the free resource below, The Ketogenic Diet, check it out. I promise it's just 28 days. Try it. Let me know what kind of results you get. Hopefully it gives you a lot of success and a lot of results. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of the support. It helps my channel grow and helps me get this information to more people and share this with any of your family or friends that you th think may enjoy this information. Thank you so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.